The San Diego Police Department says overall crime has dropped for the second year in a row. Their new 2023 crime stats report just came out. ABC 10 News reporter Sierra Encinas joins us live from SDPD headquarters, where the police chief and the mayor say this is a welcome trend, Sierra, that the city's worked really hard to achieve. Yeah, Jerry, the department says that crime dropped nearly 3% between 2022 and 2023. Chief David Nislight and Mayor Todd Gloria say this trend is very intentional, like you just said. This year, the data was run through a new system called NIVERS. They say that it breaks it down more comprehensively and even down to the neighborhood. They say that it was broken down into three categories, crimes against people, crimes against property, and crimes against society. Let's start with crimes against people. Those are down to a tenth of a percent. Sexual assaults are down 16%, but the number of reported kidnappings jumped slightly. There were 215 in 2023 compared to 213 in 2022, so less than a 1% jump. But aggravated assaults jumped nearly 6%. The crime category that jumped the most were sex offenses. Those rose more than 23%. The report doesn't specify what those other sex offenses include, though. Now to property crimes. Those were down nearly 6% overall. Burglaries dropped 16%. In 2022, there were over 30 3,300. In 2023, there were 2,800. The number of robberies also dropped 6.5% from 2022 to 2023. The only crime trending up in that category. Also, crimes like drug use and gambling are up. Narcotics violations jumped nearly 10% with 522 more violations in 2023 than in 2022. But what jumped the most in that category were animal cruelty reports. There were 24 cases reported in 2023 compared to four in 2022. That's a 500% increase. It also breaks things down by neighborhood, like I said, adding extra categories like simple assault to entertainment districts like beach communities and the gas lamp district. Chief Nislight thinks this new technology will show the department where and when to deploy officers and resources. And if you would like to take a closer look at this data for yourself, you'll find it on our website later this morning. For now, live outside of SDPD headquarters, Sierra Encinas, ABC 10 News.